What's going on, man? I, I, I got to touch on this again, man. I, I, I mean, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Listen, earlier, uh, 78 Sports TV, he had a dude up there that was like a doctor or something. <laughs> Some dude uh, with a Muslim name. He was supposed to be a real doctor. I guess he had him up there to kind of override what this 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 YouTube doctor dude that came out with the Spence had neurological damage thing. He, I guess the dudes don't like that. They don't like that the dude came out and said that. Multiple channels was like, listen, this dude ain't no real doctor. And, and I'm like, how do you know he ain't a real doctor? You know, he was saying a lot of real stuff. You don't have to be a doctor to to see what's going on, man. And and listen, as much as we don't want to say, um, we don't we don't we don't want this to be an excuse um, for why Errol Spence lost. I'm not. I'm definitely not saying that. But you got to be kidding yourself. The, the reason why I say that is because the Errol Spence fans, he was fine before this fight, but all of a sudden, all of this shit coming out now it's an issue now because he lost. Although. When you look at Spence, I told y'all, like, when he, come on, it gotta be something wrong with the motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's not, that has nothing to do with him in the ring, because I feel like he, he stepped in the ring, he, he know what he's signing up for. But at the same time, he is not the same dude. And that's why I was like, damn, dude, I wish he never would have gotten that wreck. Because he probably would have been a little bit more competitive for Bud, but he still would have lost. He still don't have the skill set to be Bud. It would have just been, um, he would have been able to be a little bit more successful than he was in that fight. Absolutely. Just a little bit more. I don't even think it would have been a much more of a difference. I'm just, just maybe a little, but still would have smoked him. But here's the thing. These dudes, they're, they, they want Errol Spence to go run it back with Bud, man. They want him to run it back with Bud. And unfortunately, I, I, I hate to say things like this, but he's going to get hurt bad again. He's going to get hurt really bad when they fight in this rematch. And you know what's crazy? If when they fight, if they do fight, because we, we are here in December, if they fight and I start seeing him get beat badly in the second round, I don't want to watch it no more, dude. I don't know if I could, if I'm going to keep watching that fight, dude. And I think Terrence Crawford senses that. I think he might know something, like, you know, he might take it easy on Bud, on Arrow. Because, yo, these fanboys, bro, they want him to get his get back. They think it's going to be different at 154. It's going to be worse, yo. It's going to be worse. And I blame all of these dudes, all them channels like that, all these fanboys that want him to get back in the ring, especially in December, and don't want to give the dude no time to recoup. If something happens to Errol Spence in that ring, and he can't, he never, he don't return out. I'm talking about bad. If he dies, God forbid, that's his blood on y'all hands, dude. Because y'all thought a get back was more important than his health. And he feel like he gotta appease the fans, you know, over his over over being smart about shit. When I was listening to um, Virgil Hunter, he said, "Listen, man, I'm not here to. I can't tell him really what to do, but I recommend he 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 cross all his T's and dot his eyes and get every get and get a whole bunch of opinions from different doctors, not just an opinion you want to hear." You know, different doctors. Before you stepping back in that ring with Terrence Crawford, man. But hey, look. This is the sport. They chose to sign up for this stuff. Just saying. To you fanboys. I know some of y'all might be watching this. Y'all might, might stop by and see this video. You are sealing Errol Spence's fate, bro. Y'all, y'all dudes sitting up here talking about, yeah, he want to, yeah, he want to get, he need his run back, and 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 this down the third, he gonna look different at one fifty four. I support the champ and all that. Yeah, you you think you support him, but will you really support him when he's in the wheelchair or a vegetable? I get, I guarantee y'all, none of you motherfuckers is going over there to help Errol Spence, man. 
They're saying that he's deteriorating a little bit, with, you know, slurring his speech. I mean, dude, I, I, I've been saying that. And then the doctor that, that 78 had up there, he said that the doctor stopped the fight too early. I'm like, what? Did, so y'all discrediting that other dude that was talking about Errol Spence's neurological issues, but you get this guy up here. Nobody knows who he is. You get this guy up here, and he's talking about the the the, the doctors and them stopped the fight too early. I said, "Dog, this is what they gonna do to Arrow, bro. You know, this is what this is what his fate is. They gonna cash him out for one more check. So this this can't possibly end well, man." Just can't end well, but you know what? Don't I'm not listen. I'm not. I'm not saying nothing else. I'm not bringing this up no more. I'm not gonna say another word. I'm not gonna make another video about this. But when, when they fight again, and something happens to them, I don't want to hear all of the fucking crying and boo hooing. I don't want to hear all that shit, bro. Y'all got y'all got to look in the mirror at yourselves. Remember me saying this. Shit's is Rebel Lake Boxing, man. What y'all think? I'll catch y'all later.